John Cena also revealing there's going to be 36 dates in 2025 that you'll be able to go see him on his retirement tour and also said that if he does anything for WWE again, it would be in a suit and not in sweatbands. And I like that. I like when somebody I see I like this. I I really he's having a retirement tour, not a match. And when that tour's over, he's done. I like that. That's the plan. Yes. And so maybe hinting at a executive type spot or a no, he's. Spot. He, I think he's got a. He's was. I think in the article I read, he was plugging a. I think Movie. it was an Amazon or a Prime film that he has. Yeah. He's still going to do uh, what he's going to do film wise, and but I just like the fact that. And how old's John? John's going to be forty eight by now. Oh, uh, he's probably around my age. You don't think he's over fifty? I don't think he's over. I don't think he's because Dwayne just turned fifty. Mm. And he's older than Dwayne. 47 is oh. how old John is. All right. Shit, at 47, I still had shit. That I was fine. I was, I, it, it didn't really hit me until about 53, 54, 55 that it was just like I was really slowing. I could feel it. My body was just, but up until then, I, I, I could still work at team. I got lean. I, I lost a bunch of weight and got, and got lean and. If they proposed to you to do a a retirement tour like that, is that something that would have interested you, or would you prefer to just go out the old-fashioned way? You know, man, I just... I would be so afraid if I said, I'm like, yeah, I could do it at 47, at the age that I decided to retire... I just said, you know what, man, fuck this. I got my, once I got my knee replaced, mm. and that was, was structurally, like all those years of damage that I had taken off by having that replaced, but all of a sudden, man, like it's you have a G.I. Joe leg. Like your leg bends this way. There's no move this way in it. Yeah. You know, those knees in the corner and all that shit that I did, that is as limited as it was painful as fuck. Because I was twisting shit. And my hips were so, my leg had so much valgus in it for so long that my hip was rotated. And my navel was fucking probably four inches off center. I was a fucking wreck, so I had to kind of retrain my whole body. And while I did that, everything I did was I had to do singular leg training. And it was a fucking process. Yeah. Do you ever train legs? Yeah, fucking every week. But I said, right. a, guy, a, guy, a guy was looking at me the other day. I trained legs on Sunday. He looked over at me. He goes, fuck. He says, your, your legs are shredded. I said, yeah, no shit. I said, I play basketball. I said, they might not be gigantic. I said, but there ain't no fat on them. I said, fuck, man. I basically ran up. A, I did 90-foot fucking sprints my whole. That's what my genetic makeup is. All right. All right, Florida Man Jersey guy here. Two headlines. One, a Florida man behind the set actions and one a Jersey guy. And if you're going to play along, I think that the secret of the game is just to let the headline wash over you and and go with what... Don't be too cerebral about it, I think I'm trying to say. All right, first headline. Man arrested after trying to withdraw one cent from bank. Second headline, one-legged man attacked at ShopRite over grocery cart dispute. Second one's Jersey, first one's Florida. Correct. We don't have ShopRites. Oh, is that, did I (laughs) fuck that up? You don't have any shop, we don't have any ShopRites down here. No, we don't have any ShopRites in Florida. Not that I know of. You, you know, probably would have got it anyway. You know when fucking, here's a sign that, that shit's fucked up. When Walgreens and CVSs are closing by the fucking bushel, that's when you know fucking you're, you, you got some problems. You're going to get, a, probably, what you're going to get is those installations where, like by me here, the CVS is in Target. You know what's going into all the CVSs is dollar store signs. Or Dollar Tree, like those kind of things. 
replacing they, the they, CBS. They, man, they, that's a perfect, like a perfect exchange. Just get rid of one shit box and put another shit box in there. 